what is up fam hope you're having a great day today if you're not you should because you can i'm having a great day today even though it's freezing cold outside here in virginia i'm getting better i was sick tiffany's getting better she had the flu still got a cough she, she got a lot worse than i yeah see she had a lot worse than i did but anyway she brought us here to the yorktown beach if you don't know about yorktown virginia it happens to be haunted but a huge civil war was fought here and this is also where this became one of the first states ever the jamestown settlement there's some stuff here let's check it out all right i'm not gonna read all that but you can you can read it if you want i think Two of the most I think that's George Washington right there. George Washington, commanded ally of Admiral Degassi, Degassi. George Washington was pretty tall. Woo! This place gets really packed in the summertime. As you can see, we're like the only ones here. See somebody walking their dog behind me. A little windy, a little cold. I'm sure that has something to do with it, but it is the weekday. So we're not really here to do anything haunted. If you came to this video looking for a video like that, make sure you go to my other channel. Occasionally, I do upload some haunted videos here and there on this channel too, but we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be hunting for shark teeth, mainly a megalodon tooth, which her friend was able to... Uh, was there a picture of that? Yeah. I want to see a picture. Oh, it's a oh, look, that's a 50-foot leash. Hi. I miss Luna. You know that doggy's been good, you know why? Because he's not on a short leash. Kind of on a short leash with Tiffany. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, I've been, been really bad. <sighs> found the picture, and that's the tooth that they found. Wow, yeah, that's huge. Is that a Megalodon tooth, though? Is this the one? Hold on. It's, it's very big. Yeah, I don't know if that one's... The I tooth did, next but... to it was... Oh, here like it is. A... Oh, that's it. There's some different ones. Yeah, we need Look to, how big that is. Yeah, that's like the huge. size of her hand. Yeah, if you could, you could imagine, you know, it's like, that's a big tooth. Shark teeth are usually about that big or so. Look at all those teeth in that bucket. So we're gonna be teeth collector today. Her and her husband come out here all the time. Like, look at all these teeth. Teeth? Well, let's, let's find some shark teeth. There's our town sheriff. Oh, there's even somebody in the back got arrested for grabbing shark teeth off of a historic beach you know i got asked yesterday what inspires you to make videos and i mean I, I have many inspirations but one of the things that i love doing with my platform is inspiring people to to get out and do things like this you know things that are free you know this is fun getting out of the house a lot of people especially nowadays are kind of stuck on you know being on their phones and i mean i'm guilty of it myself being at home maybe just watching tv all day i mean get out have fun going on adventure i mean things like this it don't cost money when i was doing dumpster dive videos that was another thing that i love doing it it doesn't cost money it's an adventure it's like a scavenger hunt you know what i mean the, the geocaching videos that's one of the things one of the reasons why i make videos and i mean there's a lot of other reasons like i mentioned i started up this channel doing vlogs because it was it was nice seeing the highlights of my life and it inspired me to keep making more it was really nice seeing my memories come to life and having highlights of, of positive things in my life it actually made me appreciate my life a little bit more and not dwell so much on the negative things because a lot of people will say hey man you're so positive and you know i love you know watching your videos because they make me happy and i just want you to know i am human i do go through ups and downs just like you when you watch my videos i mean it's mainly going to be the highlights of my life and there's nothing wrong with that sometimes i do share the negative parts of my life too i try not to because you know everybody's going through some tough times and i don't want to dwell on negative things that are happening in my life so i might filter some of them out just to kind of protect people out there and you know i, I like to focus on positivity Anyways, you know what I mean? Because we live in such a negative world that it's it's good. It, it's good to focus on positive things, you know, because it seems like most people live their life unhappy. And if we could have even just a little ounce of happiness in our lives, it makes, it makes for a good life. Look at all this granite rock. Really cool. 
I guess you're not supposed to walk on these, but I'm gonna do so anyways. Tiffany's already looking for us. My hands are freezing. Wanna go for a swim? Okay. We should have brought like a like a little shovel. I just gotta find one. Just one, huh? Oh I found one! Oh. Look, it's a Ew. Why are you touching it? It's a blood sucker. It's a jellyfish. It needs to go back into the ocean. Don't touch it! Why? Cause you're gonna have a your hand is gonna itch. You just don't want to touch the tentacles? Yeah. I mean, it's the bottom of your hand. Come here. Oh, God. Let's go back into the ocean. <laughs> Imagine putting that in somebody's pants. <laughs> Yo, Tiffany is like one of the most savage people I know. She really is. Would have never touched that jellyfish. I would have grabbed some tongs or something. Maybe a stick. <laughs> The sand is really different from sand in Florida. Look at all these beautiful rocks here. I mean, there's so many nice ones. Wow. It's a swirly. Yeah, I used to collect these when I was older. We used to call them kiss rocks. You know what? I wait. What? We used to call them kiss rocks. Oh, I thought you said kiss rocks. That's what I said. Kiss rocks. Oh. So I mean, I get a kiss. Yeah. Hey there, little fiddler. Oh no! He's taking a nap! I found a shark tooth! I did! It's not a megalodon shark tooth, but it's a shark tooth. Ah, look. Does that count? That's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a shark tooth! Look! It kind of, I mean, maybe it's a fossilized one. Could be. I'm gonna. It's, it's in the shape of a shark tooth. It is. Could be very old. Like. Megalodon's grandpappy. He came back bigger and better. You gonna pick this one up? Nope. Looks that like was, a tie dye. That was like heavy. You know, when I was little, I jumped off a pipe into the into the beach, and as I was jumping, I seen a bloodsucker one, and I, I landed right on top of it. Let's help him out, though. I know what to do. There's a bamboo stick over here. Just do this. Yeah, but that might cut him. It's not gonna cut him. You don't know. Watch out. I'm gonna be coming fast. That's what she said. Watch out! You're in my way. <laughs> oh, live your best life. Don't sting people. Forgot to mention something. Digging for shark teeth. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> but we found a good a good spot right here where there could be some. <laughs> Toes, There's a lot of really cool rocks here. We need a sifter and a shovel. And we need your friend I know. to show They're us how so to do this. This is kind of fun. Ow, my fingers! I think we need a glove. I just felt like I just touched glass. And it's cold. I'm just gonna keep looking, just eyeballing it. And oh, it's a leaf. We have walked a pretty good distance, just to give you an idea. See where that bridge is at over there? It's kind of where we parked. It's been fun. Even though we haven't found, I mean, I did sort of find a shark tooth. It's kind of like dumpster diving. You know, because sometimes it's fun going dumpster diving, even if you don't come across anything. It is exciting though, because when you finally do come across a treasure, it's like, I mean, even though it's something that you don't need, it, it's, it is cool. Like I said, it's a scavenger hunt. By the way, I did put out a, it was on YouTube on my community page. It, I think it was on Omar Gosh TV. And I, I shared a, an old dumpster dive video. I think it was my very last dumpster dive video where I went into rich neighborhoods and stuff like that. I am talking with a list because it's cold. And my tongue is, fr <laughs> but I asked a lot of you if I should start doing a, a weekly series of dumpster diving i've done some dumpster diving on this channel in fact this is where dumpster diving started was on the omar gosh it didn't start on omar gosh tv but i carried it over and it did very well to the point where there was like a million dumpster diving channels after that if you didn't know your boy omar and i'm not trying to brag i'm just throwing it out there that it is good to start new things and new trends and be a trendsetter and not copying other people 
but I was the very first, number one, numero uno, to do a dumpster diving live stream on YouTube. And there, there's so much fun. A bunch of other channels started doing it, and I encourage that, you know what I mean? It, it, it is awesome, it's still different. If you've never done dumpster diving, it, it is a lot of fun, and it's free. It's a free thing to do, but my very absolute favorite is driving around neighborhoods, if it's legal. It is legal in Florida, I believe it's legal in Virginia as well where you drive around and you can even look on Facebook and Craigslist for curb alerts where people just, maybe it's like a landlord where he threw everybody's stuff out and it's free for the taking, stuff that's valuable too. But let me know if you wanna start seeing those videos again because they, they are fun. I started shying away from making them and I, I know a lot of people are like, hey, how come you're not making dumpster dive videos anymore? Well, the reason is a lot of people don't wanna watch them anymore. And I think a lot of the reason is because it kind of became a, a trend on YouTube that sort of died out. Maybe it was overly saturated. A lot like with, you know, the haunted videos, there's a lot of channels starting out and and creating haunt i mean it's it is what it is it, it just like with everything else just like with gas you know what i mean when there's an abundance of gasoline the price goes down when there's a shortage and you know the price goes up i don't think that's a good comparison but you get my drift i do want to start doing them again because maybe a lot of people aren't creating those videos anymore and it might be new to some viewers too i don't know let me know i'm, I'm just wondering you know what have we ever went dumpster driving together we went trash big, but not dumpster driving. Look at my cute little kissy shells. More kisses, huh? Yeah. Well, they can be redeemed anytime. Yeah. Whoa! Look at this treasure. I don't know what it is. It looks old. One time we were walking the beach and we found a message in a bottle, like a legit message in a bottle. You did? Yeah, people, there was like signatures on it from like all these different places so we ended up getting the bottle out we went home got the bottle out with we signed our names to it and then went back, and went back in the water. oh sweet what i mean what did the message say though i don't remember i think it was just like a whole bunch of people signing their oh okay stuff. we should totally start one and here a liquor bottle <laughs> yeah being that we're not able to find any shark teeth figured the next best thing is kissy shells i got one for boston too look at that one Oh, that's cool looking. Here. It's like a blue shell. There's my shark teeth. There's a kissy shell. Here. This one's like a grayish color. Oh, I found a megalodon tooth. I legit found a megalodon. You're gonna freak when you see this. Like, no clickbait. What is it? Look. What is that, like a hockey puck? <laughs> is that a shoe? Is that an insult to a shoe? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a megalodon tooth. <laughs> Hey, on the real though, I did find this. This is really cool. It's like an iridescent oh, cool. color. That in there. I got some more kissy shows. She just yelled at me like, hey, I think I found one. Whatever. Well, you kept doing it to me. Ah! <laughs> That's gross. City always wanted some green hair. Check this out though. What the heck? Are those like bullet holes or musket ball holes? Now, some of these houses are really old. So this is an old cave. Whoa. Yeah, they blocked it off. Oh, that's rad. Oh, there's Java the Hut over there. How cool is that though? He's a mini Java. This is what it used to look like here in York or Yorktown. I'm pretty sure these houses are, some of them are original. There was a great fire in 1814. A great fire. This destroyed all but the foundations of the houses, thought to be one of Thomas Archer's houses under the hill. The present restoration is the 19th century dwelling built on the older stone foundations. So these are the, all the original stone foundations. How cool is that? They used to build some stuff really good back in the day. That's why they say that the older homes have better bones. I mean, some of them aren't up to code, but yeah, the bones are good. What is all this? It's like a big bag of poop. Oh, they're rocks. <laughs> I bet you there's shark teeth in here. It's a private residence. Private house? It says right there, private residence. Wow, somebody lives there. But yeah, the house is haunted. I'm sure like the majority of this property, if you look up um, places that are haunted here, 
this is like one of the locations, obviously, because of all the battles that took place. If you can remember when we did that Fort Magruder hotel yeah. where it was a hotel that was built on top of a Civil War battleground. I think it was like 5,000 soldiers died. Super haunted, by the way. We ended up sleeping there. We filmed the whole thing. That place was freaking creepy. Yeah. I mean, she was obsessed with looking at the, the footage of us sleeping. I couldn't stop watching it. That was crazy. We heard a lot of noises, a lot of tapping, voices. This is really close to that. Really, really close. Yeah, a so lot of Yorktown, Williamsburg, and Jamestown. But it's like the whole combination of the settlements. If we had enough time today, we should have went to Jamestown. They still have it set up the way that the Indians and stuff had it set up. Maybe we will There's take you there. There's all types of teepees and... I've never been there. It's really cool. You go. It's right down the street. We're going to a river where there's some more like i guess we're we just see the megalodon tooth one. Just one. i don't think we're gonna find a megalodon tooth but i don't care about that just some shark teeth this little baby tooth you know that maybe the shark dentist was like oh how about we just go to the gift shop up there and i'll find one not the same oh look at these cute little guys aren't they adorable yeah we're skipping we that's should skip so adorable we should skip too one thing that's really cool about yorktown is there's you know being that it's a historic area i mean there's tons of these What's over there? It's the tobacco inspection. In 1730, alone was class requiring that all tobacco exported from Virginia by, be inspected by officials at one of the public inspection warehouses, which is located in... Gosh, that's the longest freaking run-on sentence I have ever seen. <laughs> but y'all can pause this and read it if you want. Well, Tiffany and I ate at this really good place. It's called the Carrot... The carrot tree, pretty awesome. I, I would have gave you some to eat, but it was it was so, it was so small. <laughs> like you could just go like that and hit the person next to you. But some good food. And I learned something really cool today. And I didn't know this. This is why I know Abraham Lincoln. Like he, he's my dude, man. Even though I'm not technically a vegetarian anymore. He was a vegetarian. Can you just address that it's not my fault that you're not a vegetarian anymore? It is it's not her fault, okay? I just missed eating chicken. Now there's certain meats that I don't eat but I, I love chicken poultry turkey yeah but not not pork i don't eat pork i do want to add though is i do occasionally still eat vegetarian just every once in a while i will enjoy myself a nice chicken breast yeah you still eat a lot of tofu i still eat tofu mm -hmm. um in fact i had a spinach quiche in there which is vegetarian dish and some pimento cheese a little bit of dairy i'm, I'm not vegan but i don't know I, I will say this when i started eating meat again mainly chicken i gained like 15 pounds yeah but you also like i've been working out yeah and it's given you a good source of the actual like meat proteins that you need in order to build your muscles a little bit besides just the plant-based proteins which don't get me wrong there's a lot of plant-based proteins people and it's great but there are definitely he a lot said himself that when he started proteins. eating actual meat that he felt like his muscles were getting yes that's one thing I will say. I mean, everybody's different, but when I was working out, my muscles were, they were, they felt a lot more firm when I was eating meat versus being on a plant-based diet. I mean, I'm sure there's some hardcore vegetarian bodybuilders out there, but I mean, everybody's different. Yep. And for me, like being on a vegetarian diet, like I was definitely more slim, even if I was working out, but I don't know, it, it was weird. Like if I wanted to put on like muscle muscle and get bulky, it, it wasn't really like that. And I mean, I worked out, I, I still work out. I work out a lot, I'm not on the best diet. Still like my carbs, as you can see. We need to get on like one of those keto diets. No, it's just a fat diet. I don't know, there's some people. Like, there's on... a lot of people that are on it. I mean, the keto diet is just basically another form of the Atkins. Yeah. But, oh, look, there's a thing with water and, and, and probably shark teeth. Where does your friend find them? She's like a professional shark hunter. Yeah. I had to give it to her. Hey, remember in that picture, like I didn't, the one that we showed you, it was like, what, 450 something teeth she got in one day? One day. One day. That's insane. We haven't even found one. <laughs> nope. Do they find them in the river? She finds them all in different places, but I don't know exactly where. Um, There's a river up here somewhere. Well, we're going to go to the river. Oh, look at, that reminds me of Gettysburg. I wonder if that's there from the Civil War. Kind of looks like it. Here we So we've been out here for about six hours. Haven't recorded a whole lot. 
Just because, you know, it'd be a super long six hour video of finding nothing. This is what you call love. You know, I'm freezing cold. I can't even feel my hands. I mean, legit cannot feel my hands right now. And she knows it. She knows that I'm cold, but I'm out here because she's happy. I mean, I was happy like for a few hours, but I'm cold. It's about 38 degrees outside. I have no gloves on and I'm a Florida boy. Did I mention I was cold? I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but we're in a new spot right now and it smells like poop. It's cool though. You can see it's low tide and I hear that low tide is best for this. Look at all the gray in my beard. I'm gonna need to get that just for men thing. I'm still out here looking for shark teeth that don't exist. I'm sure her friend that gets them buys them at the gift shop and then throws them out here and like look i found a shark tooth i think that's a shark tooth right there oh cool it's probably flipper's tooth you know what i love about you i did not want to give up i just wanted to keep going but i felt like you were in the car just so bored i that's what i love about you you don't give up i mean I, we've been out here for like eight hours in the cold and i mean it's it's cold out look 39 degrees outside and look she got a couple of shark teeth. That's definitely a shark tooth right there. And then here's another one. And you can tell both of these are the same because if you look at the back, see how it's hollow in the back there and hollow like that. Like both of these are teeth. I'm not sure about this one because when you when you go to the back, <coughs> it, looks, it looks like a shell on yeah, the back. I was clickbaited. I was so excited. This one might be like an old because see the the grooves at the see, bottom when you look at it like that it looks like it could be yeah uh this one i don't know i don't know but that's definitely a tooth and that's definitely a tooth for sure like <laughs> look at the, the grooves so we're on crawford road right now it happens to be one of the most haunted roads in virginia actually in probably the united states a lot of stories here we even talked to a local sheriff that runs a, a patrol on this road and he gave us a couple stories too of some reports that he's been out to but yeah they've they've found bodies out in these woods and to make matters worse happens to be in a battleground for the revolution war and the civil war as well in yorktown this is the one that like i told you a few years ago uh, oh there's a cigarette there they found his body he was either shot or stab or something and this body was found out here there's the bridge right up ahead just want to give you a little sneak peek as to you know what we're up to an in investigation we're gonna spend the majority of the night here i hope we get to because i did read also that cops come out here all the time and they try to discourage ghost hunting so i'm hoping that doesn't happen because this is a legit haunted spot and there's the bridge right there we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna grab my other camera because it's a little bit better in low lighting so i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to smash that like button make sure to get out have a good adventure if you get the chance go with your family go with your friends Just don't go alone i mean you're up to it you can go alone i've gone on many adventures alone and they are fun just make sure they're safe you know, like a public road like this, I, I don't see anything wrong. I mean, I would maybe carry a knife with you in case you run out. Don't go alone, all right? Safety first, go with some friends. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to smash the like button. If you support my channel, there's a lot of you that do, and I'm very, very thankful for you. I gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a